Hey guys, Derry here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you another Let's Play episode of a place to call home. <sighs> so the last place we left off in this silly, silly game is that I Leo met with Seth, and they went on like a little meet. Well, that wasn't really a date, but I'm calling it a date at JFC, Jakarta Fried Chicken, and <sighs> things just keep getting weird in this the end, and I love it. It's so silly. It's it's about it's. I think it might be as silly or sillier than Fatal Force. Also, uh, regarding my coverage of Fatal Force, uh, Chapter Five has not been publicly released yet, but it will be soon. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll definitely be covering that when the next part comes out. But anyway, guys, let's jump right into it, and thank you for watching. All right, alarm chain, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready? Ready? Ready for what? Your turn selling ice cream. Oh, right. <laughs> My hands turn cold again. Are you all right? You're shaking weirdly. His accent is thick, tapped with R's. He sounds like he sounds almost Nigerian, but mixed with American. I cannot do a Nigerian accent, and I'm not going to try. Last thing we need is another like white guy trying to imitate black people. Come on now, I can't. I cannot do a Nigerian accent. <laughs> ah, that'll be fine. I'm usually like this when I'm under pressure. With a deep voice, he chuckles. Under pressure of what, my friend? Under pressure, friend. Oh, uh, nothing really. Just being social with people. I'm not usually the type that walks around and talks to strangers. I see, but you're talking to me right now, are you not? He pieced a smile. Yeah, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just... Oh god, I'm just thinking of what my... A possible Nigerian accent for me would sound like. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, not good, I can tell you that. It'd probably come across as a faux Jamaican accent. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to offend people. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Keep those spirits up, my friend. You can handle this task easily. I grab the handle of the trolley, taking a deep breath as I close my eyes. I can do this! I'll be going now. Best of luck. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Can you do this, Ludus? Will you do this? Uh, um. The wolf stretched and scratched behind his ears. Oh, God, how long was I out for? Mm, about a few hours. God. He looked around. He squints as he realizes he's still in the park. I actually thought we were already home. Well, in a couple of minutes or so, we're gonna leave. It's already 4.30. Oh. Man, that was such a good nap. Ugh. I think I'll have some more. He lies back down. Hey, mates! Seth jogs up to us. Seth! Hey! <clears throat> and he jogs back around. Okay. The wolf sits back, closing his eyes from drowsiness. The tiger sits himself next to him, inspecting the wolf's face. What's wrong with him, lad? He's just sleepy. I see. You better get your body up and moving, else you're gonna lose all that muscle mass. Nah, I'm a wolf. I can sleep anytime I want. I'm pretty sure that's what cats do. Leo's my brother, so I'm half cat. You won't be able to sleep tonight if you keep sleeping. You might even howl again. Ugh, he sat up. You tired from work, eh, Mr. Hauser? Oh, me? I don't have work. I'm actually an author writing novels. Hauser, huh? Hmm, curious. I'd be glad to take I'd be glad to take a read someday when I have the time. How about you? How's your work? Boring, I'd say, though got me knackered from all the cleaning. It was a snarky-ass customer that demanded a refund for the juice he didn't order, so he threw it on the floor. Narky asked? A male Karen, as youngsters these days call it. Dang. It's one of our policies not to refund drinks, so I can't do anything, really. Cheeky fella, I'll tell ya. I'm hoping nothing else bad happened. I don't think it will happen again. They sat there staring at me, silent, while I walked around in a circle in front of the two as customers approached me. It seems that my forced grins and anxious smiles got my advertising up by a hundred levels. At least they pay for at least they pay me for my pain. As this as Mr. Leo would work. 
Yeah, he goes around the city for his work stuff. Sometimes goes to the city hall for some important matters. Such a busy man! Yeah, he is. He slumps back on the seat. He's... He's really something. Hey, look at him. He seemed distant. Sometimes I can't imagine the things he's been through. I mean, he took me in as a baby and raised me as his own. He even took care of Fern. He cared for a lot of people he barely even knew. That's amazing. Right? He closed his eyes. The tiger folds his arms, tilting his head as he smiles. It does sound like it. Have you told him that, though? Told him what? That he's... amazing? No. I haven't. Now that i thought about it, I haven't thanked him for anything either. But he already knows that, right? I don't need to say anything to him. Hmm. The tiger closed his eyes. His ears twitches while, he think while thinking. I think that you should still thank him, at least. He is your father of sorts, after all. And you'll never know. Something might happen to him. What? Are you saying he's gonna die? No, not like that. Well, something, but that's not what I meant. I'm just kidding, I get you. I just hope he's always alright. He's always there for me whenever I need him. And I wish I could do something for him, too. Though, I don't know what. Why not tell him what you just said now? No way, that's just too awkward. <laughs> he did take care of you when you were a baby, didn't he? Wait, hold up. That means he's been through awkwarder times... That means he's been through awkward at times, like sinker. <laughs> ah, yeah, I get it. Ah, I'll get to say something to him someday, just not today. Looking around the lush green trees, my eyes catch a big yellow figure behind the wolf, stalking in all fours, its small tail waving gracefully. I grin. What? What are you smiling at? Leo pounces at the wolf's shoulder, making him fall off the bench and crawl on the ground, screaming. Ah, ah, ah. Ha <laughs> Lo, what the hell? He stood up and patted his butt. I'm sorry, the chance was too hard to pass. Hard. My, hard my dick. No, no, Seth. Good afternoon, Sir Leo. Your day was occupied with heavy tasks, eh? We hope you didn't burn yourself out too much. That's bad. That being said, have an ice cream to cool you down. Smooth advertising. Smooth advertising. I like it. I chuckled. How's your day? It was nothing special. I was just roaming around talking to people in the city hall. Uh, about what? Just chatting, mostly. How about you, Seth? Ah, oh, right. Kid, do you have enough money to pay Seth here? I'll give it back when we're home. Actually, I don't have to- you don't have to pay me, Sir Leo. What do you mean? Consider it as an apology for being an ass yesterday. Besides, it's just ten bucks. Not much of a big deal. No, I should... No, it's all good. With all my respects, you've done so much for everyone. In fact, we should all be in debt to you. They stare at each other, no words uttered from their muzzles. <laughs> Thank you, then. And just call me Leo. I don't like it when people become formal with me. The wolf takes his phone out. My pocket buzzes. Nope. Can you feel... Bzz. I'm gonna sing it. Watch. Come on, don't ruin this for them. Let Leo have some fun. What do you mean? He needs to experience a little zing in his life, you know? Like, look at him. The two big cats continued on chatting. Leo's face filled with a big smile. Seth happily listened to him, his tail wagging back and forth. You did say he's still a virgin. Bzz. You sure about that? What if they start liking each other? We're gonna end up being a full house, literally. I mean... I mean, Seth's a cool dude. But still, it's gonna be weird. Oh, come on. What's not to love? We'd have, like, two dads in the house. I'm sorry to think you have a thing for these kind of stuff, Lud. They make a cute couple. <laughs> Way to answer my question. But really, I think they'd go well together. Meh, if you like them both so much, then I guess I'd ship them too. So, where do you live? Somewhere at the somewhere out of town in the east side. It's not far from here. He points to the direction where our town is. 
Oh, East Point. That's the town where we live in. Really? I thought you'd be more of a metro type. You just seem you just seem to look at it. You just seem to look it. I mean, not in a bad way. You look good. Or great as a man. I, I mean, I get what you mean. Don't worry. You look good too yourself. Leo, can we take a break tomorrow? I feel like I need a breather from all this. A break, huh? Come on, it's a Friday tomorrow. Hmm, alright then. I'm going to take a day off tomorrow too. Finally! How about you, Seth? Do you have work tomorrow? Eh, not much. I'll be doing the morning shift only till noon. Ah, good for you. Why do you ask? You want to hang out tomorrow? M maybe we could talk. Maybe we could talk more and do something fun with the family. We've got some cold drinks at our place. <laughs> Holy shit! Leo making the first move. I know, right? What a natural. All right. After lunch, then. Yes. Huh. Well, it's nearing 5 p.m. and we're about to get ready to leave. Ah, of course. I'll have to get going now, also. Why not take the ride home with us? There's plenty of space in my car. Psst. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't think I should. Nonsense. I would have to repay for the pay for those ten bucks, don't I? Huh, I can't refuse such a kind offer. But I really need to fetch me some groceries before getting home. Pesky errands. Maybe next time, eh? All right then. Be safe. They shake hands. Hm. Keep safe on the road, also. The tiger waves goodbye. The wolf walks up to me with a grin on his face. A date! I know! He's a friend. And we're not dating. Mm hmm. I bet a week from now we'll be calling him Daddy Number Two. So you think of me as your daddy, then? I didn't say that! Ha 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 ha! Anyway, I'll bring the trolley back to the shop now. You boys stay here. Okay. Leo pushes the cart forward, back to the entrance of the park. Well, he's in a good mood. Of course he is. He just got accepted on a date. Hmm. How do you think about it? He technically is your dad. I mean, he took care of you as a baby, right? And look at you now, you're halfway 30. That's kind of weird. I think of him as my brother, actually. Also, he's your daddy too, you know. Shut it! <laughs> you and your daddy issues. I do not! Quit denying it, dude! He playfully punched my arm. Ow! I rubbed the sore, I rubbed the sore while staring at warmly painted sky. Oh, 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 oh lord, where are we going? Oh my god! Uh, someone's adjusting the time of day slider! The sky had already turned dark and the wind already cold. Lamp posts turn on and the small light bulbs that adorned the railings that, that circled the patches of flowers glowed a warm yellow light. We sat on the bench, side to side with the wolf, sticking my body next to him for heat. You always seem to get cold outdoors. I'm not trained to be in cold climates like you. <laughs> you get used to it after some time. I've always wondered what it's like to be a feline or to be in a different species. You can ask Leo, he's a feline. Nah, I already know him too much. Well, why don't you try acting like one? Huh? You don't act like a fox, for example. Walk on four legs and point your tail up while pretending to sniff on something. Hmm. He jumps off the bench and stretches as he positions himself on all fours. <laughs> he wags his tail while looking at the ground, then points his ears up as he fixes his gaze at me. Oh, wow, you're really nailing it. Yeah, well, check this out. He hops around in a circle. Yeah! <laughs> Are you trying to be Michael Jackson? Is that what foxes sound like, though? Hee <laughs> hee! Hmm. It's more like a high pitched laugh, like what hyenas do. He hops around again on all fours, trying to sound like an ambulance siren. Hee hee! Ow! Hey! Oh. oh. Shit, it's that dude again. Oh no. I'm like, hey, wanna buy some penis pills? <laughs> <laughs> he scurries back to the bench. The coated man stands in front of us. I figured you'd be here. Get it? Because I'm a figure. We stayed silent. 
Anyway, that's not what I'm here for. You remember yesterday? The image of the man getting pinned down by a couple of cops flashes into my mind. Well... How are you not in prison? Those weren't illegal drugs, you dimwit. Though I did get a fine for reselling these without a license. I think we should be going now. It's getting pretty late for dinner. Run! <laughs> we both spring off the bench. Glancing behind me, I see the cloaked figure catching up on us. The tail behind his rope exposing, exposed from running, showing reddish brown fur with a chocolate brown tip. I bet, I bet that's going to come in handy later. The wolf's, tall, the wolf's tail smack on my face with its... The wolf's tail smacks on my face with its fur like a thousand tiny whips. Your tail! Sorry! Wait! Stop here! Where are we going? <sighs> I thought we'd shake him off when we do like a 180 around the park. Oh boy, am I out of shape. No! What? What? <laughs> you klutz! There are other paths around the park I already closed off for the day. Oh! Right. You too? You think you could get away from me? And why on earth did you run away farther from the exit? No matter. This will make things easier for me since there are no guards here. I we'll slowly step backwards as the man walks up to us. The wolf grabs my hand and drags me to the men's bathroom stall. He bangs the door, but it won't open. He drags me to the women's restroom. What are you doing? Stop! It's the only way! I'd say it's too late for that. He points at the sign by the door. Under renovation. We enter ourselves onto the walls as the figure walks closer, reaching into his pocket for a weapon. What do you want from us? I want... The door flings open. What's happening here? Leo! What timing on his part. Whoa! This guy was the drug dealer yesterday. The one where Phil sniffed his stuff and went, and went berserk. His stuff? How dare he do that to Philio? The statue of powder, low. But he's trying to kill us for it. Wait, what? Leo steps forward, positioning himself into a fighting stance, his arms ready to brawl. Dare lay a finger on my kids. What? Kids? Wait, I think there's a big misunderstanding. Leo pounces forward, letting out a loud roar as they tumble down to the floor. The cloaked man shouts as he fends himself from a flurry of Leo's punches, the lion on top of him. His head now exposed in the light, I can finally see his face. A red panda with bright emerald eyes, cream hair, dark patches around his face. His, be his beard is brown as the freshly ground coffee, and a chipped ear adorned with a golden earring. With a brass knuckle armed, Leo he hits Leo in the face, making the lion fall back with a groan. Lo! Gah! The red panda scurries to his feet and runs off. We both rush to Leo's side. Ugh! He pulled his hand off his mouth, revealing blood that dripped from his nose. Should we call for help, or... I, I'm fine. We can't. We can get you to the hospital. I can drive. He carefully stood up, holding his nose. We helped him walk, walk to his seat as, the, as his balance was a little off. He raised his head and closed his eyes after he popped off to the, on, onto the seat. Me and the wolf stare at him. Does it hurt? Hang on. He rushed to the vending machine for a cold can of soda, then holds it near Leo's nose. Please, be okay. Ugh. I should have seen that one coming. I was too careless. We're really sorry. We shouldn't have dragged you into this. The wolf nods. You could have dealt with him easily with your bulldozer-like strength, Phil. In fact, we both could have taken him down. If I wasn't being such a wuss... I know. I'm so sorry. He takes the lion's hand and places it on his head. Leo pats him gently. His eyes shone. The blue opal glowed another shade I rarely see. There was regret. He stared at Leo, who sipped on the can of grape juice, quietly watching each heaving breath. He didn't know what to do, and neither did I. Ha <laughs> ha I haven't had a fight like that since back in Hamburg. You used to brawl back in Germany? Yes, quite a handful of them were in the quiet streets. Sometimes in the small alleyways where I do the trading and sometimes gambling. Yeah, you told me the one time you even had a group that lost to you tried to hunt you down. <laughs> and all that for a bag of coins. But it was just like any other day for me. I was still very young at that time. Lo was a thief, Lude. And a very good one at that. Leo wiped his hands behind his shirt and stood up. Are you okay now, Lo? Very much. Really? Absolutely. 
But you seem but you seem to look a little worried. How on earth would I not? I I care too, you know. He pulls the both of us in for a tight hug. He chuckles as we wrap our arms around him, nuzzling the both of us with his nose. Oh, so cute. We make our way back to the exit. Side by side, we carefully watch Leo if anything ever happens to him. You know, you two don't have to hold my arms as we walk. What do you mean? We have to be absolutely careful if anything bad happens again. Yeah, and besides, it's much more better this way. Oh, right, I'm your daddy after all. He roared in laughter. Shut up. What are we going to have for dinner? I could cook us up something. I don't know what, though. But I think I have something in mind. Seriously, you two. You can let me go now. We ignore him, still clinging onto his arms. Alright, guys, I'm all pause it there. Oh my god, another silly little episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!